The Queen wore a rarely seen diamond and ruby brooch she received as a wedding gift for a call with Commonwealth leaders days after her anniversary with husband Prince Philip. The monarch, 94, donned the glittering golden trellis brooch for a video appearance with the Commonwealth Points of Light Award earlier this week. The centerpiece of the brooch is a folded gold net or trellis work with five lilies or leaves and diamonds with ruby stems. The heirloom was a gift from a guest at her wedding to Prince Philip, 99, in 1947 with the royal opting to wear the jewel days after they celebrated their 73rd wedding anniversary. While it isn't known who gifted the royal the brooch, it is believed to have been a present from the director of fine jewelry store Garrod. The monarch has worn the piece less than a handful of times in the last couple of years, last opting for the brooch for an investiture in Buckingham Palace in March. During the video call, which was released yesterday, the Queen has paid tribute to the wonderful efforts of Commonwealth volunteers and was treated to her first ever virtual musical performance in honor of her 73rd wedding anniversary. Wildlife enthusiast Len Peters, from Trinidad, who chatted to the Queen during a video call, was the first person to receive the Commonwealth Points of Light Award, which recognizes outstanding volunteering work by individuals. Her Majesty praised the efforts of Mr. Peters, who is a turtle conservationist who featured in Sir David Attenborough's Blue Planet 2 series, and two other award recipients who were part of the call. Thank you all for taking part in this program, the monarch said. I'm delighted to have heard your stories and I think it's wonderful work that you're all doing, and volunteering so much. Thank you very much. The Queen, who donned a red and pink dress along with a pearl necklace, asked Mr. Peters about his appearance on the broadcaster's popular wildlife series, so David Attenborough got to know what you were doing. He told the Queen his relatives were one of the largest turtle-eating families in his village but he and a group of friends came together to try and make a difference. The appearance comes days after the royals celebrated their 73rd wedding anniversary at Windsor Castle. Last week, royal commentator Katie Nichols said the Queen and Prince Philip have rediscovered the happiness of their early years together during the COVID-19 crisis. She said the past few months has meant the couple have been have really enjoyed spending more time together throughout the pandemic. While the Queen has been working throughout the pandemic, she hasn't been receiving guests which, according to Katie, has meant she has had a lot more time with her husband. The couple have spent more time together in the past seven months than they have since their early married life in Malta, where they lived simply in a villa from 1949 to 1951, the only period when the Queen said she lived normally. She told Nine Honey, I remember speaking to a very well-placed source at the time who said while the Queen was, like the rest of the country, was very down about the pandemic and not being able to work, as usual, and being in lockdown. The real upside for her was the time that she got to spend with Philip. 